sugarcoat shit for me. What's up with you? Where'd you go Thursday? You called me late, and it kind of scared me. I was at a Bible study. Rob wanted to check out this new church on the east side. <laughs> okay, if that helps you sleep at night. We can all be big-time churchgoers, sanctified and highly favored of the Lord. <laughs> Yo, where's Rob anyway? He's out to the mall to spend my money, which I need to check him on, by the way. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, call him, tell him to bring me back some burgers. Oh, hell no. Nah. You can get your own food. You know the address? No, I want to spend your money, too. Well, in time you will. But, listen, Thursday really had me shook. How long have we been friends? 30 years. Our parents met at the same daycare center. They practically adopted us. <laughs> You're right. We ended from the womb to the tomb, right? Your mother practically raised me, and I will always be grateful to her for that. I need a huge favor. Anything. You don't even know what it is. It doesn't matter. I know you, and I got you. I know that, Renee, but this... This is big. It involves very personal shit that may have you question your faith. Now, what type of favor would have me questioning my faith? Are you in some type of trouble? Is that church an undercover cult? We've managed to make a good life for ourselves, Rob and I. But I may have to see about a major life-changing event that could cost me everything. What are you talking about? You're going around the bush again. Can I trust you with everything I have? Yes, Kristen, as you should. You know, you've been single for a while now. I don't understand why a good woman like yourself can't find herself a good dude. I ask myself the same question, but these guys, they want freaks in the sheets. I don't see that unless I'm ringed up. Well, you take me up on my offer, and you may not have to worry too long about that ring. Can you imagine that? What are you talking about? My time is counting down to zero. I don't have long to live. What the fuck you mean, you don't have long to live? Just what I said. I have an aggressive form of cancer. It's crazy, Renee. You're only 34 years old. What are you talking about? I've only got six months left. How is this even happening? When did you find out? At the beginning of the year. Rob and I were gonna try to have a family. And I was having heavy internal bleeding and sex was so painful, it just, it wasn't feeling right. Why didn't you come to me? Because I was scared. I didn't want you looking at me like you are now. Does Rob know? I decided not to tell him until after we talked. He thinks it's something else. And what's he gonna do when you just up and gone one day? He will adjust like he always do. Adjust? Kristen, you're talking about being dead. I don't need you to remind me. Do you think this is easy for me? It's all right. I got doctors. I can call some doctors for you. You can't fix this, Renee. I'm calling people. Because guess what? You ain't down on me. Fine. Go ahead. Call your doctor friends. Nothing can save me. It's aggressive. It's in my organs. I just... I opted out of chemo. I just want to be comfortable. And I want Rob Bitch, to remember me- Bitch, what the me. fuck? I want Rob to remember me how I am. Not in some hospital bed, just dead ridden and- I need a drink. Think you could grab me one too? I don't know. You deserve it. Please and thank you? Thank you. Mm -hmm. All right, what do you need me to do? When I'm gone, I want you to marry Rob. There, I said it. What? You want me to do what? Yeah, you heard me. I want you to marry Rob. <sighs> I don't even see Rob in that light. Look 
classic twisted request is that? A desperate one? I would never. That's fucked up. I, I would feel like I would be cheating on him with you. Rob is a handsome, fit man. Come on, I'm always the one who's looking odd whenever we go out together. People look at you like you're the perfect couple, and they look at me like I'm the charity case. Rob and Renee had the perfect marriage. Why can you joke at a time like this? A little time and a lot of humor. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Before you consider saying no as your final answer, just take a look. <clears throat> saw this. It's my arrangements and final requests. How much is in this Roth account? Why is my name on it? Enough. I guess you're going to need it. For what? Buy a house? Or a small town? <laughs> no. For you to take care of my family. What's the problem? I'm insulted. I'm insulted that you would sit there and claim to be dying just so you can clear your conscience. Insulted. Mm -hmm. Insulted. You heard me. Am I not good enough for you to do this for me? I have never approved of your lifestyle. But I never asked you to change. And now you hit me with this life-changing decision and you have the nerve to throw money at me? Rob wants kids, and I can't give them to him. I won't even be around to celebrate our anniversary. Why can't you do this for me? Everything is laid out there in the paperwork. Surrogate? What's this about? I was hoping that after I was gone, you would take the sperm that I have frozen at the sperm bank and... Give me a legacy. So I'm um, to be reminded about your death every time I look at the child. Just, just think of it as, you know, a part of me gets to stay here with you. I won't be completely gone. See, I don't play with God like that. This is the way to do it. What, you want me to fuck you? No, no, ooh, hell no. Girl, no. But surrogacy, this isn't the way. In marriage, it's a commitment to someone that you love. And I don't see Rob in that light. I know. Then why do you ask? Because as crazy as it sounds, I can rest in peace at being you. The thought of anyone else makes me crazy. Kristen, so you're going to choose who Rob gets to spend the rest of his life with? You cocky bitch. I'm just trying to do what's right. Who are you to choose for him? Who choosing what? Oh, fuck. Hey, babe. We need to talk. Okay. What about... Why y'all looking so serious? Let's just say that I have a proposal and it's for the future of our family. 